Hi. Hi, everyone. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by. This is Willie Green, a.k.a. Dr. Financial Literacy. Uh, this is the last day of the month for our Velocity Banking Experiment. And I uh, just wanted to thank you very much for um, stopping by. And let's see some of the results. Um, although it ends tonight at midnight, um, I can fundamentally say um, I'm not making any more charges. So this is pretty much um, it. Let's see uh, how things um, are panning out. All right. Hope you're doing well today. All right, we have um, looking at um, day eight, how to use velocity banking to reduce uh, debt in general, um, paying down debt um, in, in, in with the salary you basically made and how you can make it uh, work in general. Uh, financial capability, financial capability is the capacity to use your behavior, attitude, skills, and knowledge within your environment to manage your financial capability resources effectively, equitably, and efficiently at all levels of your life. Velocity banking. Velocity banking is a strategy where you use a revolving line of credit as your primary checking and savings account to help pay off your debt. Um, that could be cars, student loans, store credit in general. Uh, this is an example of velocity banking. Uh, you receive your paycheck. It could be a hard check. It could be money or it can be electronic. You take that check. You put it on a um, card, a revolving card. You pay your bills or what you can pay from the revolving card. You pay those bills that um, take a credit card. You pay your daily expenses also from the credit card. You leave as much as you can on the credit card and start the process all over again. So it's using your cash flow and revolving credit to bring down your debt. Um, calculating the average, what is the average daily balance? Now that is, it, the average daily balance is very important. I used to think in years and months, but since going through this process, I've been thinking about my money, my resources, and helping others to look at your average daily balance. The average daily balance on your credit card is the card's balance at the end of each day divided by the number of days in the billing cycle, which may be 28 to 31 days depending on the month. To determine your daily balance, you take the card's balance, today's um, charges, anything that you do, um, payments and other statements, credits, and then fees related to any type of transactions. Calculating the average daily balance. Uh, the first thing you're going to do is take your interest rate. And in our case, we have an 18% interest rate on 1860. We convert that to a decimal. Your percentage, 18% divided by 100, you'll get your decimal. Once we get the decimal, we're multiplying by the credit card balance. In this case, I had the zero percent, I mean a zero credit card with no balance. I put 1860 on it as a cash advance. It was um, the interest rate 18% times 1860 equals 30, I mean 334.60. Now to get the daily average balance or a percentage to be able to calculate, we divide that by 365. Uh, we get 0 0.9172. So in general, the credit card that I'm using um, with um, Navy Federal, um, it um, has 18% interest. We've calculated the daily rate. So it's about 92 cents per day paying on it. Round that to the nearest decimal, that gave me 92 cents. And I'm gonna use that 1860 uh, continuous to pay down other debt then place my checks into the um, the credit card and try to pay as many bills as I can from it. Uh, this uh, hopefully includes my utilities, trying to figure out a way around housing in general. Um, so earlier, 
uh, looking at the experiment was coming up on a negative when we looked at the previous budget. So I had to find some way of saying, okay, where else do I have money or resources that I can help out? Now, I wanted to really use just my income in general, but it also calls for in velocity banking using the resources that you have that are sitting idle. So here I had 300 in the savings account that was sitting idle. I transferred that out and closed the account and placed it on the card that left me with a balance of 119. It was looking to be negative and it can be um, continued to be negative based on all the charges that come in for the final day today. Um, this is where I closed the account. I moved that $300 that was sitting there into the um, credit card to make use of it. Um, the other thing that I wanted to mention, you can see where interest payment. So having 300 in the, the banking account, I was giving one, two, three, four, five. I made probably less than 10 cents. And when I didn't have the amount in the checking account, I was charged a $5 fee. So now I'm on the velocity banking, I'm making it work for me. So I don't necessarily have a savings account, but now I have this velocity banking that I put the savings account in and it's saving me on some of the interest on the back end. And I can always go back and add an account and start using the money that I'm saving in interest to even build up that account. Because again, I was given less than 10, 10 cents on having 300 or more balance in that account on a monthly basis. And this is where I closed it and moved it over. And this is where I took that 300 and I pulled together another 100 from two other additional accounts that I had because I wanted to be positive in the account so I can recycle another 1860 next month. But if I would have let it played out in general, yes, it would have been a um, would have been a negative. But I really wanted to go ahead and get um, to using this again, um, although I, it would be a negative in the sense that all of my paycheck has been gone and I was using money. I was using a credit card to make up the difference. So living paycheck to paycheck for using the credit card. But I see the potential in it, um, the positive in it. So, yeah, I was willing to, OK, let's go ahead and get this started so we can move on to the next one for next month. Um, let's see. All right. Uh, this what it was um, looking like. So for this month of January, if I just would have ran possibly the numbers are just off of my check, um, I probably was looking at a um, deficit of 768. So moving to be on the credit card, trying to move away from living uh, check to check and uh, move forward. This is awesome. So hopefully in February, that that um seven negative seven sixty eight. Uh, hopefully we can change, turn the tide on it, and I think it can be done. Okay, next up, hey, if you want to continue to learn from me and see how I can help, um, also reduce your debt, please feel free uh, to call me. Um, I'm also offering micro loans, and also see how you can become an authorized user to improve your credit. Um, one of my clients um, improved their credit nearly 100 points uh, in a month's time. So um, if I can help you and be of any um, service, please uh, definitely give me a call or email. Shoot, shoot me a text or email. Thank you very much.